meteorologist Carson Meredith joining us right now. What did you just say? It's a good problem to have it when is. demand is so high for those weather radios. That's the go-to source, Pat, for when you get those severe weather information. I don't like it when people rely on those weather tornado sirens because odds are you're not going to hear them if you're inside. Those weather radios that will wake you up, especially when we're tracking storms during the overnight hours. But the good news is we are going to stay dry for the next few days. There's a look at an absolutely gorgeous picture on the Wave 31 SkyCam network. Temperatures warm, yes, in the mid 80s, but that humidity that we've been tracking for the last five to seven days, it's long gone, at least for a couple of days. 83 right now in Huntsville, 80 in Decatur, 81 in Gunnersville, and 84 degrees right now out in the Shoals. As you look at the Wave 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, all three of our radar sites giving us that real-time data every 60 seconds, 24 hours a day, and it's going to stay nice and quiet through at least Friday. And then those rain chances, unfortunately, are back in the forecast this weekend. Here's the big picture across the United States. Big dome of high pressure centered off to our west across Oklahoma and Texas. That's going to set up a pretty significant heat dome in the western half of the United States. Many locations by later this week will top out in the triple digits out there. Back here at home, north and northwesterly flow. That kicks out that humidity, keeps that humidity down along the Gulf Coast. And all in all, it's going to keep things pretty comfortable and dry, of course, for the rest of the work week. Here's your temperature breakdown for the rest of the day today. Topping out in the mid to upper 80s. Again, it's still going to be warm, but not as humid. So all in all, pretty nice day. 87, that's our forecast high this afternoon. Lower 80s by 6 o'clock this evening and down to the low 70s by 9 o'clock tonight. Future radar with those temperatures, well, not a whole lot going on. A very unusually quiet picture for this time of year. Again, topping out in the mid to upper 80s later on this afternoon. Overnight lows, pretty comfortable. Upper 50s to lower 60s when you wake up tomorrow morning. And we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. Maybe not even a cloud in the sky for your Wednesday. Temperatures once again in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. And the same storyline goes for your Thursday as well. But we've been tracking the tropics now for the last three to five days. And we're still watching the system that's just stalled out off to our south in the southwestern Gulf. Of Mexico. There you see the satellite imagery. It really just has not moved over the last few days, but the National Hurricane Center is still watching this particular system very, very closely. It's not a tropical cyclone yet, but the Hurricane Center still suggests there's a 70% chance that this system will evolve into either a tropical depression or a tropical storm in the next five days. And that could cause problems here in North Alabama by the end of the weekend. So here's our long term future radar looking ahead to Friday and Saturday, especially Saturday, maybe a few pop up showers and storms here or there, but it's just the garden variety summertime storms for Saturday and for the first half of Sunday. Watch what happens Sunday night into early Monday. There you see that plume of heavy rainfall just off to our southeast closer to Atlanta. That will be that tropical cyclone. Now data sources are starting to come into better agreement that this system, the bulk of the system will just barely stay off to our south and going through central Alabama, central Georgia and give us a glancing blow of widespread heavy rainfall potentially starting Sunday evening and going through Monday morning. Our main concern is going to be heavy rain. I'm not too worried about severe weather, but some spots could see around an inch to maybe two inches of rain as we get towards later on this weekend. So this weekend is not going to be a complete washout, but just keep that in mind as you have any plans for Father's Day, especially Sunday afternoon going into Monday morning. And we'll still have a few scattered showers and thunderstorms around in the wake of that tropical cyclone as we get towards Monday night and Tuesday of next week. But all in all, as you look at the seven day, pretty quiet. 87 today, 86 tomorrow. And then we do warm back up into the lower 90s for Thursday and Friday. Just a few pop up storms Saturday, not a complete washout. And then that more widespread rain rise with that tropical system again Sunday afternoon and into early Monday. The newest